Let's look at some of the most known information security frameworks. So the one I like quite a bit is ISO 27001 Information Security. It indeed covers many different aspects of information security. What I'd still like to say where it is strongest is in kind of setting up an organizational framework in getting management and board buy-in in, you know, putting an obligation to kind of have you understand your risks. Remember, this, these are the same guys that created the ISO uh, 31000 risk management standard. And so they know about risk management. And so they, they, they want you right at the beginning to have a risk management framework around this. I'd say that ISO 27001 does a lot of kind of the governance part that you would expect in you know, any organization that's uh, trying to avoid cybersecurity risk. It puts the whole governance part, but it goes further than that. It still says that, for instance, you have a risk assessment. This is very important. You have a risk assessment. The risks that you know there, you must take actions at least to understand if you have any vulnerabilities related to those risks to determine kind of a residual risk. ISO is going to make you do that exercise. And then from any residual risk, you have to have an action plan. And so while it doesn't necessarily go into extreme details of, you know, on this application, you know, you need, you know, this little application control, it doesn't go into that detail. But it will say that it's going to make you do the work of understanding your risks, understanding your residual exposures, and then making you take action over it. Remember, if an organization is trying to get the ISO, you know, any standard, but especially the ISO 27001 standard, it's often first going to ask internal audit or some external consultants or a very good IT department to, you know, perform a, a, an, independent, an independent verification that things are in place to be able to get the certification. And then, only then, they're going to get an external verifier, an external certifier, I should say, to certify that the organization has everything that it needs to be ISO 27001 compliant. And so, since you have these several different levels of controls, you can get to sort of a, a level of, you know, of governance, of assurance, of protection against uh, cybersecurity threats that are pretty, pretty good with uh, ISO 27001. I'm a big fan. Some different country standards, but here we're looking at the United States. Uh, National Institute of Standards and Technology. So this is, you know, U.S. Department's uh, Department of Defense's Risk Management Framework for Federal Information Systems. Now, of course, the military, the most, uh, uh, you know, uh, technologically advanced military will want its information assets, including, uh, well, especially to its suppliers, to be well protected. To be able to be a supplier to the U.S. Department of Defense, then as an organization, you would need to, you know, have certain uh, cybersecurity prevention uh, measures in place to be able to meet the measures of the NIST. And now looking at the Institute of Internal Audit, they offer professional guidance. And here I've given a few that are specific to, you know, IT or cybersecurity risks. And, uh, you know, I I, I full, uh, wholeheartedly encourage you to, you know, go check these out. I believe you might need to have an IIA membership for this. But they have a guide to the assessment of IT risks, GATE in short, for business and IT risks. They have the Global Technology Audit Guide. So it's called Assessing Cybersecurity Risk the roles of the three lines of defense, but understand that, you know, it's not the only guide. There are different guides on global technology, um, you know, technology audits. So check all of these out. They have, they have another one called Auditing Insider 
threat programs, and a GTAG information technology risk and controls. They have several different editions of those, so you know, check those out. Uh, in any case, if you are verifying the information security in your organization, that would be extremely good practice. For the exam itself, it is also very good practice. Thank you.